Hello, my name is Deji. I'm gonna make my mic louder. Um, today I'm gonna be testing out the uh, the old the Guardian Angel with the Tunamir ult. I'm gonna do two tests. The first test is if I ult while I have low HP, will my Guardian Angel proc even though my uh, my ult is on, or will it not? Because my ult prevents me to go below one health. But my guardian, a, a guardian angel pops when I take lethal damage. Technically, I, I, I am still taking damage, uh, lethal damage, just that I, I'm immune to death. So my hypothesis is that it will go off. Let's check. As in, like, if I ult when I have low HP, my guardian angel will still go off. Let's check right now. So first, we're going to get a lot of low HP. And then once I get really low, like right now. So as you can see, okay, so my hypothesis is wrong. My, the Guardian Angel will not go off if I ult early. Alright, now we're gonna take clip number two. Give me like. Okay, well, I'm back. So I got a little bit stronger. I got a tier match. Okay, so the first test was um, if I have my ult and, and I take lethal damage, will my Guardian Angel pop? The answer is uh, no. The Guardian Angel will not pop if my ult is on. The second test is if I take lethal damage and for the sake of, uh, for the sake of, um, Consistency, we're going to stick with, you know, a turret like that. Um, instead of these ones, since I didn't do that before. Now, the second part is, it, if if my Guardian Angel pops, can I still ult during the animation? So, during the animation, I'll, I am uh, in stasis for four seconds. So, I'm assuming, I want to see if I can still use my ability, even though I'm in stasis. So, let's check that out. So first thing I'm gonna do is die. Maybe I can kill these guys. Alright, so I'm gonna die. And then my gun ain't gonna pop. Alright, as you can see, I can I can old out. I can old even though I'm in my guardian angel. So guardian angel is pretty good is now I think a really good item on Tindermere. I don't know, I never seen any tests like these on YouTube. And I just started using Tindermere in the ranked. I'm currently 3-0. I'm gold 5, so I'm a scrub. But uh, I'm not good at this game. So Tindermere, you know, he's just a he's just a straight up tower killer. I don't I don't have my team at all. I just destroy towers and um, get <laughs> get in him and teleport to where my team needs me to get dragon or to get more kills. So there you have it. So in summary, um, in summary, you uh, let me load the volume. That's good. So in summary, you can if you ult, if you ult as in the mirror and you have Guardian Angel and it's not proct, and you ult first, your Guardian Angel will indeed um, not go off. Will not go off if you ult. Now, if you're in, if you die before you ult, so you're in your guardian angel, you can still you can ult while in guardian angel. So uh, it's kind of like Karthus. If you're a Karthus and you ult right before you die, like for example, you know Karthus can use his abilities after he dies. And if you're Karthus and you start your ult when then you die, you wasted your ult, and then you know you're alive again, but you wasted your ult. So I guess the best idea with tournament is a. Make, uh, make sure that if you do want to use your ult, you don't wait too long to, until you know your guardian angel procs. You do it before your guardian angel goes off. Or B, you just go ham, and when your guardian angel goes off, you ult once it once you're alive again. And once you're alive again, you have another you know chance of fighting. You know, so your guardian angel pop, pops, you're alive, you get thirty percent of your max health back. Then you ult. So maybe they blow everything on you, pop your guardian angel, and then you back up, you get low again, you ult, or you escape. So um, I'm gonna be making more tournament videos. You can check out my uh, 
YouTube thing, youtube.com slash daisy, I think. Uh, I don't know what it is. And uh, see you later.